Roger, I copied the call sign as Kilo Whiskey 2 Whiskey, QSL? Yes, it's a 2 by one call sign from the old Whiskey. Yeah, I looked you up on QRZ, it says no results there. Kilo Whiskey 2 Whiskey? That's correct. You will not find me on QRZ. Me and QRZ don't, uh, don't get along, so uh, I had them pull my call sign off of there a long, long time ago, but... Uh, no, Roger, no problem with that. I just wondered if I had the right call sign there. And you said the QTH was in Vermont. Over. That is correct. I'm about, uh, oh, about 15 miles. Uh, give it a take a little bit from uh, down close. Yeah, Roger, Vermont may be one of those states that I need. I've got about all 50, but there's a, maybe two or three over there that I'm missing. That may be one of them. Um, so it's Middlebury, Vermont. I'll look it up on, uh, on the web later, see exactly where you're at in Vermont there. QTH here is Brownsville, Texas, about one mile off the border of Mexico in South Texas. QSL? Okay, I, I didn't get the name. Uh, I didn't get your name there, but uh, yeah, I know where you're at. I used to run an 18-wheeler across country. I used to do all uh, 48 states, Alaska, and Canada. So I've been uh, I've been to uh, quite a few places in my time. Uh, I've been to Alaska, I've been to Canada, I've been to uh, Alaska, I've been to 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 Alaska, i Oscar Tango Tango. And your name, sir? Okay, uh, Scott, real fine. Name here is Jim. I saw J. Juliet. I, uh, India. And I'm a microphone. The name is Jim. And I'm uh, running here a little icon 706, about uh, 75, 80 watts, into a 75 meter inverted V, which is about uh, 30, 35 feet off the ground. 40 degrees. I wish we were in 40 degrees. It's 92 degrees here and humid. We're looking to a 105 degree heat index today. So uh, I envy the 40 degrees. Uh, I'd, I'd love to be in weather like that. And it's going to be a long time before we see that kind of thing. Maybe February if we get a cold front there. Uh, yeah, I'm also running a G5RV 80 meter above the house, about 35 feet into an ICOM 7410 barefoot at 100 watts. So we're doing really well to make the contact on 10 meters. It's been pretty dead lately. Over. Yeah, absolutely, Scott. The 10 meter band has been popping in and out all the morning. I've been on since about 5 o'clock this morning. I worked a bunch of friends of mine there on 75. And then uh, went over to 40 for a little bit. And uh, made a couple, two or three contacts on 20. And they came here to 10 meters. 10 meters has always been my favorite band. Well, when somebody tells me it's open or if I just happen to go past it and uh, find something, I do. Um, I will check it today, though, since you said it's open. I just started uh, monitoring 28400 just like I used to do in the old days, so uh, I'm glad to hear you're calling CQ on here. Over. Oh, right. there's been a bunch of them out there, Scott. There's been a bunch of them out there calling uh, CQ. I've, I've, heard, uh, I've heard some Europeans on there, and uh, I worked at quite a few California stations earlier uh, this morning. Uh, I 
heard a couple coming in from uh, Hawaii. Oh, I, I couldn't make it, you know, uh, 75, 80 watts with the, with the wire antenna. You know, it, it just don't do the job all the time. But I, I did hear them coming in there, so the band's been open. Now, six meters, it, you know how six meters is. It's sporadic. It opens in and goes away and opens there. I've got a, uh, I've got a scanner uh, that, I, uh, that I've got uh, a 52525 in. And uh, every once in a while, the, the scanner will stop on that frequency. And I hear a couple, three or four guys talking. And that's how I know when the band is open. Otherwise, you know, it's like you say, you've got to get out of six meters and uh, two and a while and sit there for a while and see what's going on. Go ahead. Roger there. I, I copied everything you said. Somebody's uh, tuning up over the top of you, but you came over that, so uh, no problem there. Yeah, I just kind of start spinning through the bands, and uh, sometimes I go to 6 meters, sometimes I forget all about it. One of my favorites, though, is 17 meters. I, I do a lot on 17 and sometimes 20 meters, and uh, normally if the band conditions are bad, I'm on 40. Uh, 40 seems to be pretty good, or 20, over. Roger, Roger. 17 is a great band. I, I like 17 meters, and uh, I run a lot of mobile on 17. It's a great, it's a great band for that. Uh, it seems to go all over the place. I keep in contact with a couple, three or four friends of mine uh, that, uh, that go around, especially uh, they do some uh, DMs. I used to do it myself, but uh, I, I haven't, haven't done it in a while now. But I got a bunch of buddies of mine that, that go out to uh, Courtside, Arizona, and up, uh, up there into Fairbanks, Alaska with the RVs. And uh, we keep in contact on that 17 meters, Scott. Yeah, Roger, I spent the summer up in Yellowstone, and uh, I threw the G5 RV up into a tree. I had a 40-meter G5 RV. And, uh, boy, I made contacts all over the world that way. I don't know if I did any 17, but sure a lot of 20 and 40. No 10, though. 10 was pretty much dead all summer after May. So it was all 20 and 40 meters, over. Well, you know, that's quite interesting because 10 meters here was opened up. Uh, oh. it, it was not open every day, KW2W5. Uh, uh, 10 meters wasn't opened up every day, but 10 meters opened up pretty good during the summertime. We had some... Uh, Nice openings there on 10. Also, uh, 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 2 meters opened up. We had some uh, good propagation on 2, a little bit on 440, and of course 6 meters was doing very, very well. Go ahead. Yeah, before I left this summer, we were working the tropospheric ducting on 2 meters, and I was making contacts all the way over to uh, New Orleans and Alabama, uh, a couple of those places, pretty long for a 2 meter contact. Uh, I, I use that uh, VHF propagation map to kind of know when things are open and start spinning through the different, uh, trying to hit repeaters all over all over the southern Gulf Coast there, over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I get a kick out of that uh, 10 meter FM. I don't know if you've ever played around with uh, the 10 meter FM, the 10 meter repeaters, but that, that's really something. Uh, we get a lot of them here uh, from England and yeah. from Europe. Uh, 29, Yeah, you're talking about that one out of the Catskills in New York. I think it's like 29,600. Yeah, that's a real blast when uh, 10 meters is open. Yeah, I've talked to, to England, uh, I think Ireland a few times, a bunch of different countries in Europe there. So when 10 meters is open, that's a, that's kind of a good time. It kind of spoils you, though, though. You know, on 10 meters, uh, you kind of get spoiled just hanging out on that frequency. I kind of like to tune up the band and see what I can find naturally, though. But your signal is very strong over here. Especially because we're both running these G5 RVs and we're barefoot. Uh, 10 meters must be doing pretty well today, over. Well, uh, this is not a G5 RV. I I'm using a 75 meter uh, inverted V. Uh, this is a homebrew, full size 75 meter inverted V, is what I'm using. I, I took this antenna a number of years ago. 
And uh, I'm using it through a tuner, of course. Uh, I'm going through a tuner in order to get it to, to tune here on 10. And uh, there's, uh, there's some out of the way. It says about 10 or so watts being lost in the, in the antenna tuner. But the majority of it is going up to the antenna. And of course, I'm not running a heck of a lot of coax. But if, if I've got 40 foot of coax on here, that's, uh, that's, that's a lot. So uh, I don't have all that much. dropped out there. Propagation could just go that quick sometimes. Uh -oh, looks like the yeah. Roger, I had everything you did uh, talking up to the 75 meter G5, well the 75 meter uh, inverted V there. I don't know if the band's stretching or what. Over. Yeah, uh, it's been doing that all day, Scott. Uh, uh, hopping in and out of there. So, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I got a hold of it. And really stretch there here, barely off in the dirt there. Roger, roger there, Jim. Thank you for the contact. Uh, wait about t 10 minutes and look on YouTube under your call sign. I made a, uh, a YouTube of this QSO. Just Google your call sign under YouTube and you'll be able to hear how you sounded here on the border of Mexico. Good talking with you. 73, Kilo Whiskey, 2 Whiskey, November 5, X-Ray Tango, Charlie. 73, we're clear and monitoring. 73, Scott, and uh, thank you for doing that. I Seventy-three. Now you wait a sec. Good, it's his frequency. I answered his call. I was going to say right now you'll get a bunch of people calling you that are out there listening, and I really don't feel like working anybody. So that's what he's doing now. It's his frequency. We're clear. Another rag chew on HF. Another dispel of a myth perpetuated by the two-meter okay, jockeys. Two We're clear.